Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Mandy and today I am sharing a grocery haul with you guys. Um, I feel like I got a lot of stuff today and believe it or not, under budget <laughs> again, which it makes me so happy, so happy. Um, I did not have to stock up at the beginning of the month for um, April. So we're doing really good. I'm really happy with how it's going so far. Before I show you the groceries, I wanna go over my meal plan just a little bit and show you the meat that's already in my freezer. I just feel like it's a nice visual seeing the meat already in the freezer and understanding like where we're getting most of our meal stuff. Um, so let me take you in the garage fridge because that's mainly where all of our meat is and show you what we're gonna be eating this week. All right, so recently I did a freezer tour, so I'm not gonna do that with you today. I'm just gonna point out a couple things that we are going to be using this week. So we'll just start down here. On the bottom, I do have some chicken. This is mainly the chicken drawer. I've got a couple chicken breasts um, in these Ziploc bags and then I have a couple left in that big Sam's Club bag. One night we're going to be having shredded chicken flautas so I will use that for actually I have some defrosted in the fridge too that I didn't use yesterday so we'll be using some of that. I also have these bagels. Um, I think I'm going to save them and pull them out next week because we had bagels pretty recently. All right this drawer so I have quite a few pounds of ground beef still. We are gonna be having um, what I call puffy tacos. It's, um, I make a dough and I roll it out into like a tortilla shape, a tortilla shape into a circle and I fry them and they puff up and you just fill them with taco meat. So, so good. I also have in here two um, pieces of pork loin. Actually, I think that's ribs but I do have pork loin in here. Um, oh, there's one right there. We're gonna use that to make pork tacos. We just grill it, shred it. It's kind of like pork carnitas. Um, we're gonna be using that for those. I also have, this is a tri-tip. We're gonna be barbecuing a tri-tip this weekend. And what else? I'm gonna be using some chicken also for um, some chicken egg rolls. Actually, I could do pork too, that sounds really good. And we're gonna be making Kung Pao chicken. So maybe pork egg rolls and Kung Pao chicken is gonna be another night. And yeah, I've got some dog food made. I have some in the fridge as well. Plenty of ice cream for the week, so all right. And also bacon, because you know, bacon is so important. <laughs> I also have some extra cheese in there and um, some frozen corn. Um, yeah, so really easy meal plan. If you are new and have never watched before, we have put our house on the market and we need easy things because we are trying to get stuff done. So I, I think I named, let me just go over the meal plan one one more time, real quick. Okay. It's just six meals. Um, hopefully that'll be plenty. Puffy tacos, pizza, pork tacos, tri-tip, flautas, egg rolls, and Kung Pao chicken. So um, kind of like repeats, like tacos, tacos, and flautas, <laughs> but they're so good. So, all right, we are going to uh, go in and I'm gonna show you the groceries. All right, so here is everything laid out on the table. Um, I did have one whole order, but these three items right here, I am not including in my grocery budget. I bought four of the large, like, um, I don't know if these are moving boxes. Anyway, four of the large boxes. I did get this um, bubble tape. I'm gonna be packing up some pictures. Not bubble tape, bubble wrap. And I got this um, Max Strength, I don't know. I got this tape, you guys, packing tape. So those things, those three things are not included in the um, price, but I did get them delivered with my groceries today. So everything else, 
is going to be in the price and I'll just put it right here. This is the price for everything uh, food related and they, they were out of jalapenos and I had ordered some skinny dipped almonds like chocolate covered almonds but it was the skinny dipped brand I was really looking forward to them but um you know it's probably for the best I do need jalapenos though because I'm making some um pico de gallo and I was gonna make it tonight or today for tonight so I might have to go somewhere and get some of that but anyway um I'm gonna start over here with the non-food stuff because I got quite a bit it looks like this week um, it's super windy here in the springtime, early summer. Everybody loses a chapstick. So I went ahead and got another um, five pack. And, uh, we all really like that Blistex medicated. I was making tortillas the other day and my rolling pin uh, broke apart. It broke in half. <laughs> so I needed another one. I ordered like the mainstays, um, but they substituted with this good cook. It was like $5.97 or something. Not too bad, but I, um, I needed one. I also needed some more like fingernail clippers. I, oh, hold on. Let me show you. So since I was a teenager, I'm sorry about my nails, you guys, I have not had time to repaint them. Please just try to ignore them. Um, since I was a teenager using mascara, I have been buying this cheap Maybelline um, mascara. I think this is what my mom used too. And I needed some. So I went to go look for it and I could not believe it was like $7. I swear I used to pay like $1.50 for this. So I went ahead and looked for the the cheapest at the moment. And it was this CoverGirl. Um, I don't know. It says professional, remarkable. I just needed black. So I'm going to try that out. It was still like $5. Oh my goodness gracious. So anyway, I got that. Um, Clayton asked for some gum and I asked him what kind he would like and he likes these ice cubes so he take them, takes them to work with him and he likes to chew on some gum. I also, I haven't been buying sponges but there's a few cleaning projects in the house that I need a sponge for and honestly sometimes I just, I want a sponge in the sink so the last time I bought these I cut them in half and made eight sponges. I don't know if I'll do that again or not, but um, anyway, I did get those. And I also got these to put in the um, toilets, just like for when we're showing the house and stuff, just to make sure it's always, you know, fresh. So I'm gonna try those out. I've actually never tried them before. And I got this 100 count of sandwich bags. We were completely out. Clayton had to put something in a quart size bag this morning and it always seems like such a waste because, um, you know, they're a little bit more expensive. So I went ahead and got some more sandwich bags. So that was it for like non-food stuff. Um, I, like, I, I feel like this is a lot of stuff. I really do. I even got one meat item, but I was talking with someone in my last grocery haul and um, I was saying, you know, oh yeah, it's really nice. You're in budget, but it's because I didn't have to buy any meat. If I had to buy meat for all my dinners this week, there is no way I could have stuck, stuck to my budget. It's just crazy. It's, uh, anyway, you all know it's crazy, so we don't have to talk about how crazy it is, right? Um, Clayton loves this white cheddar popcorn. I haven't gotten it for him in a while. So I picked that up. I had bought some uh, microwave popcorn. It's cheese, but it's not white cheddar. So I got that. I love this kettle corn sometimes as a little snack. So I got that. And also these cheese dip and breadstick snacks were a hit. So I had to get another package. I have some brats that I took out of the freezer. Caitlin and I are going to be having brats today for lunch and probably tomorrow as well. So I went ahead and bought some hamburger buns. I haven't bought any buns in a very long time, but I don't have time to try to make some. So I just got some Wonder brand. I got another cheaper, cheapy, cheapish loaf of Sara Lee bread. This is about, I think it's two fifty, and that's about as cheap as you can get without buying the Walmart bread. 
and I've mentioned before, I just don't care for the Walmart bread. So I got that. This 18 count of eggs was the same price as the Great Value White Eggs, and I prefer these. So I went ahead and got these um, brown eggs. I think they're all cage-free now, but I do prefer the brown eggs over the white eggs. I'm going to hopefully make some um, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, and I do like these mini chocolate chips. I have a lot of um, oatmeal or oats, and I need to start using them up. So I'm gonna make some cookie dough, and I'll cook some, and then I will put some in the freezer. Uh, we will go back here. I was going to check and see if I had any more of this. I might, but I forgot. I actually checked to make sure I didn't have any Alfredo, and I don't, but um, we're gonna be having pizzas this week. I actually I forgot olives too, so I need to get olives and jalapenos. So I got a pizza sauce and I like a like a garlic chicken pizza. So I got this roasted garlic alfredo for the for the for my pizza. I also got another <laughs> container of blueberry creamer. I have two <laughs> in the fridge, but uh, I'm gonna be throwing that one in the freezer. I went back to the extra bold coffee because mine has just been tasting kind of watered down. So. Um, yeah, I guess I need, I like the bold better than the uh, turquoise one that I have now. And I got some Fairlife milk. We haven't been drinking a lot of milk and this lasts a lot longer than just the regular gallon. So I went ahead and picked up another one of those. Caitlin's drinking almond milk. So Clayton is really the only one drinking um, just the regular 2% milk. And if we run out, um, I don't think he'll mind drinking that. I did buy some tortillas. They're really convenient when we need a really quick um, dinner. Sometimes when we have leftovers like tri-tip or steak or um, anything grilled really, we will make up some burritos um, the following night for leftovers. We'll just cook up a little rice and we'll have some beans, cheese, sour cream, and we'll make some really yummy um, burritos. And then after I roll them up, I kind of grill them in a pan like a grilled stuffed burrito. They're so good. I did get this 10 count of the Mission um, soft taco size tortillas. I had the great value in my cart, but it said they were out of stock. And the last time I made taquitos, I bought these super size um, Mission corn tortillas. And they worked really well. I like how these are a little bit bigger. They're easier to work with. So... I picked those up for produce. I got a cabbage. I still have some carrots. I got a head of iceberg lettuce. They finally had the two pound bag of Roma tomatoes. So I was really happy about that. These aren't as red as I would like, but they're gonna work perfectly fine. Um, my cilantro is bolting. So I went ahead and bought a bunch. I have some out there that I could use, but not enough. I honestly think I could have got another bunch probably. We've been eating it a lot, a lot of fresh stuff right now. I got an English cucumber, some apples, sounded really good. And this bag of Cosmic Crisp apples is still um, like $4. And I think this is like three pounds does it say? Yeah, three pounds. So, and these are really good apples. I also got a five pound bag of potatoes. Um, it was $2 and some change. I was really happy about that. It, these Idaho potatoes are a little bit cheaper than the russet potatoes. I also got another box of fudge bars. We still have a few, but um, man, they're so good. But this has gone up in price a lot. So, I'm going to have to cut back. <laughs> I can't buy those every week. It's almost $7 for this now. And it, I feel like it was like five just a couple months ago. I did get some more sour cream. We still have a tiny bit left from um, when we went to Sam's Club last month. But um, I was going to need more. We like to snack on this salami. And sometimes on the weekend, it makes a really quick um, like lunch. Just a little salami sandwich. And I wanted to make some egg rolls, so I got egg roll wrappers. I also have some um, of the smaller ones. What are they called? Uh, wonton wrappers. I have some in the freezer that I froze from the last time. And um, when I make egg rolls, I will cook some of those up as well for 
um, Caitlin, she likes to put cheese and stuff in hers. She doesn't prefer to have the cabbage and um, carrots and meat and stuff in hers. So that is everything. I think I did really good this week. I'm really happy with the amount that I got. I, you guys, I love shopping the sales at the other stores. Let me turn you around. I love going to my other local stores like my Kroger store or um, Safeway and finding all the deals and, um, you know, shopping the sales. But honestly, sometimes it saves me more money just shopping at Walmart and getting specific things that we need rather than going and buying sale items that I don't necessarily need for the week. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I can shop the sales first and then make my meal plan. Um, based on what's on sale, but again, we're trying to use stuff up and um, it just, I made my meal plan before I even went to the store and bought what I needed for it and for the rest of the week, for meals for the rest of the week and I'm just, this has saved me money. Under budget again, gonna be super busy. I need to downsize, not really downsize, but like pack up stuff that we're not using very often and go through cabinets and get rid of stuff that we don't use at all. So yeah, lots going on right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul and that's it. I will see you in the next video <laughs> whenever that comes out. So thank you so much for watching you guys and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.